I'm Buck, and I'm here to f Fun! And have fun is exactly what we're going to be doing, because I have a very silly Buck build for you. We're going to play Bounce House, and we're going to use my Limau build, which has Stomping Ground for maximum cooldown reduction, Leg Day for maximum jump strength, and Gotcha for maximum movement speed after using Net Shot. We also have Vigor for more ammo, and Concussion for more cooldown reduction. And we're going to pair this with some very funny items. We're going to be using Lethality. Deft Hands and Trigger Sense, and we're just going to try and snowball as much as we can. This is not a super serious build, because normally you want to run damage reduction instead of movement speed and you want to go for serious items. The point of this is to try and have as much fun as possible, snowball as much as we can, and uh, well, <laughs> KDA be damned. I don't care if I die. As a matter of fact, we're winning if I die. No, we're not. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah! Oh, I got stuck on the thing. Okay, I got a Saris heal at least. Let's uh, be careful here. Ooh, get that, and let's snowball the kills, if we can. Got that movement speed up, got that trigger sent proc. Doing a bunch of damage to Grover here. I don't think I get the kill, though. Whoa, what's he doing? Oh, that was weird. Okay. Uh, well, we can slap you. There we go. Let me pop a quick recovery, and we do not stop. We go in. Uh, I see Avora. Hello. Squish. Hey, Victor finishes the kill. All right, let's get the movement speed on Inara. Let's just go to town. There we go. Gotcha. Jumping in. Oh, you think you can run for me? That's very cute. Oh, I might die to Eevee. Ah! <laughs> okay, we're fine. We got Sarah Seals. Let's go. Oh my gosh, we are snowballing, snowballing so much already. We already have seven kills. I haven't even bought items yet. Not any upgraded items anyways. Yeesh. Oh, and Ozzy still gets the kill through the wall with a grenade. Nice. At least I assume a grenade. I don't know how else he would have got the kill. There we go. You're dead. Oh, is he playing... No, he's not playing, uh... Wait, no, he is playing Vicious Assault. I thought the jump killed me. No, that was just Heavy Blade. Okay. Well, he sent me back to spawn so I can get Deft Hands too, and we're gonna buy some Lethality now. And we're just gonna chain all three of these items to the absolute max. Yo, Victor's not giving up. Yes, pop off. Oh, he gets the kill. I'm just gonna jump over the wall. I have Leg Day. It was designed for this! They're not actually close at all. Okay, well, that was a mistake. Pop a quick recovery. And... Ooh, Headshot Inara. She's pretty low. Maybe we can finish her off at some point. Possibly. Oh, that was a bad blink. Alright. Well, goodbye. I'm going in. Ah! Woo, lots of damage there. Rock is going to finish all these kills, man. And I can take that one for myself. And we are just so slippery fast. And this match is honestly kind of a breeze. This is going way better than I expected, considering they have a bunch of slippery flanks. I'm still jumping on him. My team's popping off, even though we have a solo tank Ruckus as well. Pretty nice. Honestly, I've been meaning to test Buck with these new items, especially with Trigger Scent for a while now, but I just haven't gotten around to it, because it is a very snowball-y item, and Buck is the king of snowball. He's the king of dive. He's all in or nothing on the dive, which makes him either really freaking strong or really freaking bad, depending on what you're up against. But uh, yeah, the idea of stacking this with cheaper lethality and cheaper deft hands has always seemed pretty intriguing to me. And it honestly, it might even have potential to be pretty darn good if we pair it with a Torvald pocket. But sadly, I don't quite have the privilege of that today. All right, going in. Hello, bonk, that's one. Ooh, I might die. Oh, yeah, nice shot from Eevee. Okay, well, <laughs> I almost got away with that. Sadly, my jump just wasn't quite off cooldown. Very, very sad. 70% cooldown reduction is a lot, but not quite enough for me. Oop. All right, Eevee's dead. Nice. We are kind of losing this, though. That could potentially be very bad. Hello. Got that movement speed. There we go. You're, done. You're gone. Lethality proc. Get another movement speed proc from my net. That's the double kill, and we are saving this point right now. Deft Hands, quick reload. Don't need it. Ozzy's got the kill. Let's go. Oh, I missed the net shot. But you know the nice thing about net shot is that if I miss, it's still fine. I still get the movement speed proc. I just, you know, I don't slow the enemies. But the movement speed is still very much active. But it's not fast enough to get me out of the hallway. No! <laughs> Crap. Uh, let's do more lethality. And another good item to buy might be Master Riding. Since we don't really care about our KDA, we want to get into the fight as soon as possible. So I'm actually going to buy some of that. We're going to snowball as much as we can. Sentinel would be another good item. Uh, it would help against slows and stuff, and it also gives us a shield so we can continue to snowball. But I think it's funny to go for max speed, so that's exactly what we're going to do with Master Riding here. Hello. 
Do I even need to jump on you? I was saving it for the vine, but I guess I don't. You just don't have one. Silly Grover. Up and over. Ooh, okay. Face my unrelenting damage! Someone heal me! Where's our healer? Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> thought I would have help. Apparently they don't need me. And, uh, yeah, they don't care about saving me, and they're just gonna kill everything by themselves. Well played, guys. I guess. Man. <laughs> Okay, maybe we should actually play with a little bit of tact here for a second, <laughs> as our team groups up. Do some damage to you. She's gonna run away. Tiberius, what are you doing with that positioning, man? I'm supposed to be the one feeding, not you. Stop it. <laughs> oh, he's going in. All right, I gotta jump on this. I didn't get the jump proc. No, he got another Grover ult. How did he get his ult back so fast? Arceris is low. Hopefully nobody's flanking her. Oh, someone absolutely is flanking her. Stop it! I miss. No, I totally missed that. What am I doing? My flicks are so off right now. I way overcorrected for that. Like an idiot. I still get the bonus damage, though, so we can stomp on you. And then let's just go in on Grover. There's some damage. Absolutely demolish him. Keep getting the movement speed here from the net shot. Yes. Reload speed. Let's jump on her. Screw it. There we go. Squish the Inara. Yes. Uh-oh. Ruckus might die. Victor might die. Oh, no. It's all down to me to carry this push here. So let's do some damage to Eevee there. And let's go in. Where did Eevee go? No, I lost her. They both just disappeared as soon as I jumped on him. Ah, crap. Well, we're not pushing this then. <laughs> Dang it! Yeah, Ruckus is eating the overtime. It looks like it's not over yet. Yeah, you can tell I'm feeding the enemies pretty hard, because look at my KDA. I have 23 eliminations, which isn't terrible. Except you realize that Saras has 23 streak. And I've died seven times. My KDA is so bad. It's still kind of a three KDA right now, which is okay. But, I mean... <laughs> I have no regard for my health and safety, and it definitely shows. This is kind of reminiscent of the Red Army strategy, if you remember that video from back in the day. OG Andrew Chicken viewer right there. Honestly, maybe I should try and do that again in the modern era. I feel like that would be pretty fun. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that whole strategy was just revolved around going in. It was the infinite dive strategy. No regard for your health and safety. Zero whatsoever. You just hold W. You basically tape the W key down. That's hard you go in. And, uh, it was very silly. Boop, there's one. Boop, there's two. Jump back up here. And that should be three here in a sec. Oop, Ruckus stole it. But, uh, there we go. We got him. Nice. Uh, it's mostly just footsteps behind me. Are they not gonna come this way? Oh, there's an Ara. Ah, uh, she's off her horse. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's just get to the more exciting gameplay then. Up here. I hear Grover. Oh, he's kind of back though, isn't he? Alright. Quick recovery. We lost Tiberius, but I don't think it matters. They're not on point, are they? Oh, hello. What was that? Like, 2k burst there from the staff? Is she over the moon? She's not even over the moon. How does she do that much damage? Okay. Well, I guess they got back to the point after all. Man, I'm kind of just throwing, aren't I? Let's get some more master riding then, so we can get back to the point faster. They have comeback mechanics, so I need to jump in and get some kills here right now, right away. Go, 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 go. Whee! Hello, Vora. Squish. Oh, I don't get the kill. She just tendrils away. I still got the overtime touch, though, and hopefully that's enough. Although Tiberius is just dead. Victor has ult, maybe he can come back in and do something like with that. He has been carrying, after all. Pop the ult, press the ult button. No, where are the grenades? No! Oh, man, we're still in this game. And I don't know how good this is going to be on the defense, honestly. Snowball playstyles are usually meant for offense, not defense. Hello. I didn't even see where she went. Okay. There are a lot of people up there right now, and I don't really have the capability to dive, so I'm going to back up. And let's just play this a bit more safely. Because there's no way I'm diving three of them like that. Tiberius is getting a kill there. That's a good opening. Especially because their Tiberius is a one. So let me just... Squish! Ooh, that didn't quite work. Man, he actually got that kill. No way. He has so many jumps. I f forgot he was playing double jump again. He just jumped away from that. My bounce house didn't hit him. And Eevee just came in and finished the kill. 850 damage there. Yikes. Ah, can you tell I haven't played much Buck recently? <laughs> I haven't really played much of this character in the past few weeks, because I've just been so focused on testing other stuff, you know? And also, I'm an Eevee addict. I have to give this speech every time I play a flank that's not Eevee, basically. Squish! There we go, gotcha. Uh, hello, Vora. Okay, uh, you just stay over there, that's fine. Let me heal up, and... Eevee's going in. She'll teleport back, though, yeah. Just gotta wait for them to group up enough. Do hello. Please don't wall me off. That movement speed is so nice, but she is doing, like, an insane amount of damage somehow. How does Inara do that much damage? I feel extra squishy, but honestly, it's probably just because I'm not buying armor plating like I normally do. 
That item is just overpowered this patch. It really is. It's just, like, mandatory, pretty much. Okay. Uh, ooh, hello, Vora. You're chasing that? What are you doing? All right, we got that lethality proc, and Tiberius is jumping in, so let's squish him. There we go. Help finish that kill with Victor. And let me jump in. Back on the wormhole player. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> that was mean! Why did you do that? That was so rude. All right, let me finish you off. And help get that kill. Oh, Vora was all the way on the right there. Okay. This is such a bad idea. Yeah, I'm not going to chase that. We're absolutely owning this defense, though, which is really good. Let me see about popping back here. Pop a recover real quick, just to heal. I don't think they touch. I'm going to watch the right side, though, because I think Eevee's over here. Unara's making a run for it. Get her off the horse. And there we go. We got it. Brilliant. Okay, so we're not quite close to maxing out all of our items yet. Uh, I think the biggest power spike will probably be actually Lethality 3, because that'll get us up to 60% movement speed and 180% jump height, which is a pretty huge increase. Master Writing will be helpful. All of these will be helpful, really. But I think I already have a good amount of Deft Hands, right? Like, if I just expend some ammo here and reload, that's pretty quick. And 10% damage is pretty nice. 5% extra damage will be a 50% increase. But um, I still, like, proportionally to my raw damage, not just talking about the uh, increase that the item does, I don't think it'll be as huge of a power spike. So I think that's the order we'll do things in. Lethality, then probably Master Writing, then maybe Deft Hands, then finally Trigger Scent. Especially because the other items are cheaper, so we can get them online quicker, right? Oh, he's going in. And he's going out. He's running away. Okay, I shouldn't have tried to chase that. He was just extra gone. Like our Saris is about to be. Wait, Vora doesn't know how to use the ults. Oh my gosh, you need to go watch the Vora guide. What are you doing? Squish that Grover. There we go. Absolutely destroyed. Um, oh, okay. Are you teleporting back? Yes, you are. Hello. Bonk. Ooh, does she have this? Neither of us have this. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ruckus. And look at that movement speed boost. That is awesome. All right, let's just heal. That recovery was totally unnecessary, but I don't care. They are all coming around the right, so I want to be ready to jump on them here soon. I want them to push up a little bit closer so I can get them to a better position for me. Or I could maybe jump around the side as they push in. That might be a good idea. No, that was a ridiculously foolish idea. Oh, I can't even get the Vora. Eevee just clobbers me. Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I didn't realize they were paying attention so vividly to me. Victor's going in with an ult. Gets the double. Nice. Oh, and we just win. All right, well, there we go. <laughs> Bad play aside there. Uh, we gracefully captured that objective. Nice. This is a pretty silly play style. If you enjoy just pedal to the metal, hold W gameplay, and you don't really care if you die that much, this is very fun. Again, not a super serious build. <laughs> By no means. But, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty fun. It's pretty silly. In a casual match, I think it's absolutely worth running. If you want a fun way to play Buck. I really wanted to just test running Gotcha in a build, because that's the key difference here. This build isn't too different from a normal uh, Bounce House build, apart from we're swapping out damage reduction for movement speed. Because this card scales really high, and that movement speed feels great. There are some diminishing returns with Lethality, but it helps us get that movement speed online in between the gaps where we're not getting kills, right? And it's pretty fun. But yeah, if you look at the KDA, Victor was absolutely hard carrying. He must have been like some cracked Call of Duty player who just came and tried to play Paladins, or maybe he's a controller player. I don't know. I hope he wasn't a cheater. Oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I died, uh, apart from Tiberius, I died more than twice the amount of everyone else on the team. And I got 18 kills to show for it, which is more than their Tiberius, and more than everyone in the lobby except Victor. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not my highest KDA game ever. That's uh, a <laughs> very, very, very risky playstyle for Buck, and it's definitely not going to work in all circumstances either because anti-dive will counter this hard. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Let me know what champion builds you'd like to see covered next. And also, if you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you'd like to see more content from me. And lastly, if you want to support this channel, please consider checking out the Nexus over at nexus.gg slash andrewchicken. There you can buy crystals, all sorts of DLC, mount bundles, wonderful things, and support the channel directly in the process. It's officially affiliated with Evil Mojo and is a great way to support your favorite content creators. But with all that being said, Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.